Hello, EC Forever here. This is Forever Gaming. Today I'm going to be bringing you a video explaining just how to set up a basic farm, the best possible way to set up a basic farm, um, so that your animals don't escape, and uh, so you can have the best possible output. And this is just for a regular survival. I'm doing this on the PS3. So what we're going to have is two pressure plates with a little opening area. Um, you can use fence. You can really use whatever you want, but most farms are made out of fence. So you're going to have a pressure plate on each side of the fence gate. You just need sticks and uh, planks to make the fence gate. And then the pressure plate's just made out of planks. So what that'll do is allow you to get in and out and it'll automatically close that door behind you. And this gives you a barrier space just in case any of the animals get out. They don't go running around. They're, they're still... You have a, a safety area, a safety zone. And on this next opening to the actual pen, you're going to have a fence gate with just a pressure plate on that inside area. Just one, because otherwise they can stand on the pressure plate and they will get out and let each other out. So, and that way you can get in real quick. Door closes right behind you as soon as you go in. Automatically closes. You can shear your sheep or whatever. Breed your animals and then go right out. And it closes the door real quick so you close the door right behind you so that they don't escape. And that gives you that safety area. So if any do escape, you have a whole other area to, uh, to get them back into your, your main pen. You have the same thing over here with chickens. You got the, the two pressure plates on either side of a the entryway, and then another another pressure plate into the main area. This should really be a standard. I mean, uh, I, I don't have any seats. I gotta get a seat. Oh, really? Really, zombie? You're gonna be sitting right in front of my door? Of course. Alright, hold on. I just gotta go grab these seats. There's not really a whole lot in here yet. Um, this is the beginning of our main survival for the YouTube channel, so, um, you guys will be seeing a lot of this, and I'll just be bringing you a lot of videos explaining how to do basic stuff. Really, creeper? Really? Really? <sighs> Something's coming after me, I think. Oh, and there's a zombie, and a spider, and I think I saw a skeleton. This is fantastic. Good thing I have full armor. We were playing this one on the festive pack. And so, when you put on iron armor, you look like a snowman. As you can see in the top corner. Oh yeah, and I'm a skier. So I'm, I'm skiing around. Okay, I think I got all the mobs. And of course I have no blocks to nerd pull out. You can see I've fallen down here before. You can see my other nerd pulls. Right, I guess I'm gonna have to just break my way out. Let's just make a nice little staircase right here in the middle of the wall. Who cares? Just let me out of here. <laughs> it's also a good tip how to get out of an area. Just, just make sure you have your tools on you. Just dig your way out. Just make a nice little path out. Just make your own stairs wherever you want them. Alright. We're gonna patch up this whole area and make it flat. But I've got a lot of work to do on this world. Another tip is uh, building your house or whatever, you, your first uh, survival building next to a village. Helps because there's already farms and stuff set up. And uh, you can get your wheat, potatoes, and stuff and keep reproducing them. And I mean, you don't have to go that route, but it, it is a nice nice tip on how to um, improve your farming. Also, you want to breed to the maximum number, as you can see here. Um, you want to breed to the maximum number you can uh, on whatever your most important animals are uh, before you start killing them, or um, before you start um, collecting your uh, food or whatever because that way you can get the maximum number more quickly. So we only have like one or two and you make, you know, a couple more 
and then you kill half of them, you, you start all over. If you have a ton, you have say five or six, you get ten fairly quickly. So on and so forth. <laughs> so I think that about wraps it up. Showing you the basic farming techniques, bring you a bunch of other videos about farming and how to, to do other uh, basic things in Minecraft just to make it a little easier. I, I think most people should know how to make their farm this way so they're not constantly chasing their animals down and and all that good stuff. See, I'm a snowman. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and ski around now. Have a good one. Oh yeah. We Oh of course. Shoo, shoo. Oh, look out for the water. It should be frozen. Yeah, ski along the frozen lake. Slide along. Oh yeah. <laughs> See if I can break this block. Why can't I break this block? Oh my god, there it goes. Oh, now you're in a hole. I buried you in a hole. On my nose. Oh my gosh, that's funny.